We're now going to talk about some of the preliminary data that has come in and talking about the uh, surveys uh, throughout the state. Uh, we're talking with Brian Frawley today. Brian, welcome to the show. Thank you. Brian is a wildlife biologist and survey coordinator for the DNRE, and we're here talking about the deer harvest this year. Preliminary numbers, uh, tell me, you know, the northern, the mid, the, the lower part of the state, how do they all come out? Sure. Well, we issued some preliminary numbers in early December. This information is based upon a lot of anecdotal information, but our best uh, estimate is that the deer harvest statewide this year is going to be very similar to last year. Mm -hmm. But regionally, we think that the harvest in the Upper Peninsula uh, may be the same or even slightly up. Uh, in the northern and the lower, we think uh, harvest will be down. And in the southern and lower, we think the harvest is going to be increased from a year ago. And, you know, we take a look at the Q1 Buck Poll, and you can go online at q1buckpoll.com, and you can kind of take a look at that. We've got more entries, you know, in the lower part of the state. We've got a lot of entries in the northern. And in the middle section, we've got a number of entries, but it's, you know, a little bit off from mm -hmm. last year, and I think that holds true. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of data uh, are you looking at uh, uh, getting from some of the surveys that are going out and that sort of thing? Well, first off, the preliminary numbers that we talked about come from a lot of different sources, a lot of anecdotal information. Our biologists, uh, they meet uh, hunters uh, daily in the field, so they get an idea of all the deer hunters are doing during the season. They also visit with the meat uh, processing plants, and they get an idea of how many deer are being brought in. And they also collect information throughout the year, you know, how many uh, complaints they receive from hunters about uh, deer crop damage, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of sources of information that we come up with uh, or use to come up with that preliminary estimate. Uh, and then we do a, a, a different survey, one that will be done here very soon, and that's uh, the estimates that will be our final mm -hmm. harvest estimates. And then uh, people should be receiving those in the mail right now? Yes. Uh, we, we select about 50,000 uh, hunters who have bought a deer hunting license to receive the mail survey. And in that mail survey, which they ought to be receiving in the mail very soon if they haven't already received it, and on that survey we'll ask them whether they participated in the various seasons, were they successful, were they satisfied with the number of deer they saw, the deer they, uh, they took. And we also ask questions about um, the regulation changes that we may have made during the last year. Now, if I don't get one of these surveys, can I still input my data online or somewhere else? Oh, most definitely. You can go online at the michigan.gov uh, slash deer site, and there are links there to the online reporting um, site. And the questions there are the same as the questions that are on the mail survey, so you can provide the same information. So everyone is encouraged to participate. And I encourage everyone to participate, not only those people that were successful in getting a deer, because we don't want to get a biased picture of only the successful hunters reporting their information. So I encourage everyone. Well, the big thing here is to participate. You know, we're trying to uh, manage the deer herd across the state. We're trying to get the data. The DNR is trying to, you know, set up some educated regulations so that we can, you know, all have good hunting seasons and also you know, control what's going on out there. Mm -hmm. And so really the big thing that you guys are asking is, hey, participate, right? Correct. Yep. The information that we use for our management comes ultimately from the hunters themselves. The other thing that's going on is they have regional deer advisory teams. Quickly tell me about that. Sure. As part of the uh, deer management plan that we just created within the department, we were going to create regional um, advisory teams. Uh, there's going to be one team formed in the Upper Peninsula, one in the Northern Lower Peninsula, and one in the Southern Lower Peninsula. We are currently, or we just completed the process of soliciting applications for memberships through those teams. And we had, uh, I believe, over 150 people apply, so there's been quite a bit of interest. So now we're in the process of whittling down and, and forming those teams. And as soon as those teams have been formed, we'll be getting down to business and uh, working to provide input to the department on deer management issues. All right, Brian, thanks for being with us. Thank you. All right, we look forward to all of the data coming in. And again, your participation out there and letting people know uh, what you saw or what you harvested or did not harvest this year. Brian Frawley's been with us, wildlife biologist, also survey coordinator. And if you'd like more information, go to michigan.gov deer. I'm Tim Hart. You're watching the Q1 Buck Poll.